Alright class, today we are going to continue our study of geometry by looking at cylinders. There will be two new formulas introduced today, so make sure you have your notebooks out so that you can write them down and use them tomorrow in class. Before we look at cylinders, let's do a quick review of what we learned yesterday in class. Uh, yesterday we were looking at the area and circumference of a circle. Now I'll recall the formulas for the area and circumference of a circle. Um, we have the circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius. And the radius is um, the line that goes from the center of the circle straight out to the edge. Uh, and we also have the area equals pi times radius squared. And we also have diameter, which is the line that goes from one edge to the other and cuts through the middle. So that's our diameter, equal to 2 times the radius. And these will be helpful um, for when we are looking at the surface area and volume of a cylinder. Now a cylinder is a three-dimensional shape, and three-dimensional shapes have different characteristics than two-dimensional shapes. For two-dimensional shapes, we have circumference or perimeter. Uh, when we were looking at three-dimensional objects, we call this the surface area, which is just the amount of space taken up on the outside of the object. Um, so here's what a cylinder looks like. It's a, kind of like a round tube. So the surface area is just everything on the outside that um, the air can touch. Um, each 3D object has its own different formula for surface area, and the surface area for um, a cylinder, which is what you should write down, is surface area equals 2 times pi times the radius squared plus 2 times pi times the radius times the height. All right, and the height of this is just how tall. The height is just how tall this cylinder is. Um, and the radius, as we know, is the distance from the center of the circle to the outside. Now the second formula you should write down is the formula for volume. Uh, now volume is another term that is not used for two-dimensional but only for three-dimensional objects. In 3D objects we call it volume, but in two-dimensional objects we call this the area. So like in 2D objects uh, where the area is the space on the inside of the object, the volume is the amount of space on the inside of the 3D object. So um, if you could cut this open inside, the volume would be everything that is inside this um, cylinder. Um, the, or the formula for volume is volume equals pi r squared times height. So there are your two formulas you need to know. Um, but before we do a few practice problems, we have to talk about how we label our units. Um, for surface area measurements, we are going um, to be using, or it's going to be in units squared. So whether that's um, inches squared or centimeters squared or feet squared, um, that's what our answers are going to be in. Um, for volume, it is going to be units cubed. So inches cubed meters cubed or feet cubed. So let's move on and do a few practice problems. Here we have a few cylinders. We are going to find uh, the surface area and volume of each of them. Here we have a wooden dowel. Here we have a hockey puck. And here we have just a pitcher of juice. So let's figure out the surface area and volume in each of these. Alright, so let's look at our first object. For our first object, we had the wooden doll, which was this guy. Um, and I've gone ahead and measured the radius to be 0.5 inches and the height to be 3 inches. So let's start off by looking at our surface area and we'll write down our formula. Surface area equals 2 times pi times the radius squared plus 2 times pi times the radius times the height. So we have our radius here. And then we have our height given, so we just need to plug in our, our values. 
So that equals 2 pi 0.5 squared plus 2 times pi times 0.5 times 3 for the height. Alright, so we punch this into our calculator. It gives us 2 times pi times 0.25 plus 2 times pi times 1.5. Keep going. You get 0.5 pi plus 3 pi. And then a lot of times we will just leave our answers in terms of pi so we can add these together because they are like terms. And that gives us 3.5 pi inches squared. All right, now let's move on to the volume. Start off by writing down our formula. Volume equals pi times the radius squared times the height. All right, so we just do the same thing. Plug in our values for the radius and the height. And we have that equals to pi times um, 0.5 squared times 3 and up here we have 0.5 squared is 2.5 so that equals pi times 0.25 um, height is 3 and then that gives us multiply 3 times 0.25 that equals 0.75 inches and this will be inches cubed because we are talking about the volume All right, so let's move on to our next object. The next object, we have our hockey puck. So I measured this. We have 3.75 centimeters for the radius and 2.5 centimeters for the height. Start off by finding our surface area again. Write down our equations. Surface area equals 2 times pi times radius times, or no, 2 times pi times radius plus 2 times pi times radius squared plus 2 times pi times radius times height. So we plug in our values for each of these, and we have 2 times pi times 3.75 squared, plus 2 times pi times 3.75 times 2.5 for the height. We plug this into our calculator, we find that it comes to 2 times pi times 14.06 plus 2 times pi times 9.38. Right, keep going in our calculators. Um, equals pi times 28.12. plus pi times 18.75. And then we can just add these together, leaving it in terms of pi, which gives us 46.87 centimeters, centimeters squared. All right. So now we'll go to volume. Volume equals pi times the radius squared times the height. Again, we just plug in everything. We have pi times 3.75 squared times 2.5 for the height, which equals pi times 14.06 times 2.5. And that brings us to... 35.16, and this is volume, so it'll be centimeters cubed. All right, so our last object was our pitcher of juice. That was this big guy. You can't really see it, but you saw it earlier. Um, and I've gone ahead and measured that. 
Uh, we have a diameter of 14 centimeters and a height of 18.5. All right. Um, and you see I did it in diameters because sometimes you're going to be given diameter instead of radius. So we all know that our we'll have to convert it over to radius and diameter equals two times the radius. So if our diameter is 14 equals two times radius, divide each side by two. Those will cancel out, which leaves us at seven. So our radius equals seven centimeters. And the rest is just like we've done already. Um, we'll start off with surface area. Surface area equals two times pi times radius squared plus two times pi times radius times height. Plug everything in. We have two times pi times seven squared plus two times pi times seven times 18.5. All right, uh, and then we have two times pi times 49 plus two times pi times 129.5. Keep going with our calculators. That equals 98 pi plus 259 pi. And that gives us a total of 357 pi centimeters squared. Then we do our volume calculation. Write down our formula, volume equals pi r squared height. Uh, we have that equals to pi times 7 squared times 18.5, which equals pi times 49 times 18.5, which equals 906.5 centimeters cubed. All right, so that concludes our lesson on surface area and volume of a cylinder. We have the surface area, just to recap, surface area equals two times pi times radius squared plus two times pi times radius times the height. And we have the volume equal to pi times radius squared times the height. So make sure you have those in your notebook for class tomorrow. Uh, we will be um, doing a few more examples and looking at the relationship to um, circles. All right. Um, see you in class.